We talked to former Elton John guitarist Caleb Quay and how he felt when a new guitarist came to town, David Johnston on Mad Men Across the Water. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Just for the record, we've been trying to get an interview with David Johnston for a while now. We'd love to have him on the show, Davey. You probably don't watch my videos, just in case. I would die to have you on here. Big fan. But I'm also a big fan of Caleb Quay. They played together on Mad Men Across the Water, Rock of the Westies, and Blue Moves. I asked him how he felt when Davey joined the band for Mad Men Across the Water. You know, Tiny Dancer, uh, not Tiny Dancer, Mad Men. Go, yeah, the whole, yeah, yeah. Mad Men uh, is one of my... It was the first album I ever bought, and, it, and it's my favorite Elton John album. And I know it was the first with Davey that come on. Um, yeah. How did how did you feel at that point? I mean, he's bringing in another guitarist, and we talked about you and Davey, and there was no competition. You guys just played together yeah. well. Sure. Uh, how did you feel? I mean, but you were a young man then. You didn't have the the perspective you have now. No. Well, yeah, I guess not. But um, I mean, I wasn't offended or anything like that, if that's what you mean. Yeah. Um, I loved it because David came in with his mandolin and his you know, and the stuff that he does. So it was a perfect compliment um, within the context of these new songs that Elton and Bernie had come up with at that time. Yeah. So it was a good fit. It was. We had a great time. Yeah, there. I noticed, like you know, just to go back to from Empty Sky. Of course, the budget from Empty Sky to the Elton John album. I mean, you look at the credits. You're going, what? It's like five times more people. Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. How long did it take to get the documentary done? Like from start to finish. It's been eight and a half years. Wow. And how do people see it? How like I wanted to. Uh, I, I went into the doc channel and I was trying to find it, and I because I haven't seen it yet. But can people buy it? Can they rent it? Oh, well, let me bring it up today. Where we are right now, just last uh, last weekend, not this son, this weekend, the weekend before, so about 10 days ago, I was in, uh, we, we were in San Diego, and it was the first really official screening okay. at the San Diego Black Film Festival. And we were nominated for three categories, and we won Best Documentary. Yeah. Congratulations. So, yeah, I'm re thank you. I'm, I'm really thrilled about that. So, finally, we've got some credibility, and now we're starting to get some traction in terms of negotiating with distribution. Yeah. So, we want to get it in the theaters and as well as the streaming services as well. When it is, please let me know because. I, oh, you will. You will hear about this. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, uh, uh, it goes without saying when you interview someone, it works for both people. I need you, and usually you have something that you, you want to make sure the public can see, right? I want to make it work for you, right? Yeah. So, trust That's me, we'll, we'll get the word out as much as we can. We always do that. Uh, We'll have more from Caleb Quay coming up next week. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. Buy a t-shirt, help support the channel. They're beautiful t-shirts. Links in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music.